Hello, this is Jeff with uh, JNA Junction. I'm going to do a, a short review here on my uh, Weaver uh, chassis system U25B uh, diesel engine that I got here yesterday. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, uh, it says uh, U25B diesel locomotive uh, in the chassis system paint scheme. Uh, street rail with sound features. It's got uh, two powerful can motors, flywheel coasting, metal floor and handrails, directional and constant lighting, DCRU electronic reverse unit, uh, quarter inch scale dimensions, authentic uh, paint schemes. And cab window glazing operates on 031 track, sound by QSI, and it's got uh, die cast trucks, couplers, and fuel tank. Um, there's an item number on it, uh, 1328-LP, uh, three rail with sound, cab number 8. 116 chassis. Also, uh, this is a gold edition. I didn't know that. This is a higher priced engine. And this thing um, is very nice. Um, I bought this off the OGR form off a gentleman. Um, I paid a hundred dollars for it and plus shipping and it looks like a brand new engine he said it been on display and like I say when I looked at it uh, the engine and the, the wheels and stuff on it you could tell it hadn't been run okay let's get it out of the box here <laughs> Okay, uh, these screens here, you can see through it. You can see a little bit of light in there. You can see that, you know, CNO, the road number. They do have a, uh, uh, Jesse has an engine in this uh, same CNO and the same road number. Like I say, you can see the fuel tank there. Here's the, uh, here's the front of it. It's got, you know, light here, constant lighting. The number boards don't light up, but that don't make any difference. And it's got marker lights on it here, and they don't light up as well, so. Now here's some little bit of detail stuff on the, uh, on the front of the frame of the truck. And this does got manual coppers on it. It's a wonder it doesn't have uh, the, um, the other copper style coppers on it. It's a wonder it don't because of being a you know a higher priced engine. And same way for it's a wonder it don't have a smoke unit in it as well. <laughs> and also this light does not come on until you the engine is moving which I kind of like that like say you can see you know all the hand railing on it <laughs> okay you can see the brake wheel there and you can see the horn and stuff here on top here <laughs> and the steps here This thing weighs about seven pounds is what it says. So it's even got a ladder here. You can 
see the grill here on the other side, the screen, I mean. I say there at the top, you can see the screen there, the smokestack, and the, the little detail things are here on top. Okay, and here's the uh, here's the back of it. It's uh, so the lights the same way, but the number boards ain't light either. <laughs> you can see the railing there, and then it's got the detailed stuff here on the trucks here, and it's got the manual coupler. So here's uh, underneath of it. <laughs> I do got to get traction tires put on this. Um, the uh, I guess this is where this thing sit, and the tra traction tires are just kind of rotting on it. So, um, like I say, then also I got to send this engine in for repair. Um, the um, we think it's at the power board. We're not really sure. Um, I did open the engine up and I put a uh, BCR in it. And it did somewhat work, but not quite right. And then I tried a, a nine volt battery in it temporarily, and uh, and it worked uh, satisfactory, but it still wasn't quite right. So I'm going to send this to Weaver and let them fix it. Um, but other than that, this is a great engine. I mean, I really like it. Um, like I say, I paid $100 for it. I wish I would have never paid that much for it. Um, I talked to the, to the guy that I got it off of. I sent him an email, and he hasn't replied yet. So I hope uh, that he'll reply to me, and maybe he'll help me out to get it fixed. So, like I say, you can see the steps and stuff here, and you can see the detail stuff here on, you know, on the trucks. Like See, this does got uh, can you know, QSI sounds in it. And this don't have uh, does not have LED lighting in it either. Um, I thought maybe it did the way it looked when I took the shell off and put the. Uh, but it's it not have any uh, LED lighting in it. It's a wonder it dang. So whenever I get this uh, thing fixed and get it uh, running right and everything, I will do another video on it running, and so y'all can hear the sounds and stuff in it. Like I say, it almost sounds like my uh, Mike's Train House F3 A powered unit that I got, um, except the horn is different in it and the engine revs is different in it. And then this don't have crew talk or anything in it like the uh, and freight yard sounds like the F3 does. But but like I say, it's, uh, it's got the engine roar and it's supposed to have air compressor kick on and off. An air release, uh, bell, and horn. Okay, this will be all. Uh, this is Jeff of uh, JNA Junction. Uh, please subscribe, rate, comment. Thanks.